How's it good morning, everyone? My name is Brother Darius, and welcome to another morning devotion with HEDM. So, for today's topic is about an authority is a servant to God. So, I'll get straight into the reading right now. I believe that as a Christian, we should not focus on our authority in Christ, but not on our assignment from Him. Don't seek deliverance. Seek devotion to God. Even if you feel nameless or unrecognized, commit yourself to the assignment Christ has given you, and you will walk in the authority of Jesus. So when we live by God's authority, it means He is a, He is alone our highest priority. As the creator of all things, God has authority over us and everything in creation. He does not conform to us but instead we conform to him. The problem is society and, and culture teaches our children there is no higher priority than, than, than their self. Authority helps to maintain unity, order, and peace. It is impossible to say I am obedient to Christ and to submit to the authorities he has placed in my life. God tells us in his word that he establishes the, the authorities in our lives. And when we rebel against them, we rebel against him. All authorities is linked to the obedience. You cannot have authority until, until you get under the authority that is over you. So the reason, so that's the reason that Satan worked to get Adam to disobey, to disobey God. So when Adam disobeyed God, he for, he forfeited his authority. When the Lord gives you authority, he gives you spiritual authority. God gave Adam authority over the physical realm. We still have that in Christ. Although one day we will have full spiritual authority. Our, and our full inheritance is waiting until Jesus returns. We do not yet see all the things, all things we put him under. But in this day, in, in this age, currently, he has given us the authority over the enemy. That is scope of, of your kingdom authority. Although authority comes down from, from a higher power, Authority comes from above. That's why we say that we are under someone's authority. The centurion understood being under authority. Verses 8. And coming Jesus, the centurion was appealing to a higher authority. So when a police... When the police knocks and says, open in the name of the law, we open. Why? He has authority. Behind the police is the city. Behind the city is the state militia. Behind the state militia, the national guard of the, um, behind the, behind the state militia, the national guard of the United States. Incredible authority stands behind that one man. Likewise, in Christ, we have incredible authority. Why? Because we are, we we are you you we are united with Jesus in His death, burial, re resurrection, and ascension, and enthronement. See Rome, chapter chapter um six, verse three and verse three to nine. Our authority comes from Him. We spread the gospel through his authority. Matthew chapter chapter um twenty eight verses eighteen and twenty. We live our lives as believers are under heavenly authority. The centurion understood the strength of authority. He surrendered to someone else's authority. Strength for the Christian life comes from surrender. 
Our spiritual strength comes from because we surrender to Jesus Christ. So authority differs from power. Authority comes from from the office. Power resides in the person. Football players, big and fierce, have power. The only man on the football field without a uniform and pads, armed armed only with a whistle, he, the little guy, has the authority. He can he can stop a play or send guys to the locker room. Jesus says that we are the little guy. I give you authority over all the power of the enemy. Our strength comes from his authority. It's time we told the enemy to take a hike. Because you have a kingdom authority, you don't have to you don't have to live a defeated life. So that is my devotion for this night. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And make sure you subscribe and like so you could be noticed about all the other devotions coming up and get a good word. So hope you guys have a good day. Stay blessed and good, good morning.